It's coming near that time of the year where we start to rebalance our portfolios. When we were making these stock purchases, we thought we were getting in at a great price and the only way that they could go were up. Now looking back at things, we've realized, yes, some are winners amassing double digit gains. We're on the other side. It just seems like there's some that are just out to get us. In this video, we're going to be discussing when the right time to sell a stock is, and we're going to be making sure that we're doing it for the right reason. Nick here from Ways the Well. Thank you for tuning in. Before we deep dive into the video, I'd like to ask you a huge favor. If you get some value out of this video, if you learn something new, smash the like button. It helps my channel out and I would definitely appreciate that. Make sure if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you get alerted anytime I post a new video. One thing I always revert to is know what you own and why you own it. Are you investing in that stock because of the growth potential or are you an income seeker and invested in the stock because of the dividend yield? It's very easy to let emotions take control when you see that stock price move. You know, an investor that sees a stock run up double digits may want to lock in those paper profits, claiming that no investor ever went broke taking a profit. But if nothing has changed about the investment thesis, the reason that you bought this company in the first place, then there should be no point to sell it. You could in fact be missing out potentially on future gains. It's very important to put the emotion factor to the side and focus on the fundamentals. It will also help in preventing any panic selling that could take place, hypothetically if the company has a bad quarterly result, causing the market to overreact and pushing the stock price lower. If that growth company that you bought is slowing down or a competitor is eating away at their market share, then it may be time to sell that position from your portfolio. If you're a dividend investor, and that company has recently cut the distribution, then it may be time to look for other companies that are growing their dividends. If the company does not align with the original reason as to why you purchased them, then it's definitely enough reason to look to sell them from the portfolio. The next reason you should sell your stocks is if you need that money for something in your day-to-day -day life, whether it was a goal that you had when you had originally invested, to help you pay for your college tuition or a down payment on a house. I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory and you probably don't need me to tell you where you need your money. But one thing that I will caution here is that the stock market in the short run is very volatile. You should not be putting money to work that you need in the near term. I would stress building up a savings or emergency fund before you start investing. Another potential reason to be a seller of a stock is when it is announced that it is being acquired. After that potential deal is announced, the share price will typically jump to the takeover bid, the amount that they're going to be paying per share, we saw this recently in the news with Salesforce putting in a bid to buy Slack. Shortly thereafter, the stock jumped to around the $40 or $42 per share mark. This deal, for example, happens to be both stock and cash. So you technically don't have to be a buyer if you believe in Salesforce in the long run. So if you believe in the company that is acquiring your company, you can definitely hold on to those shares because once the deal is complete, you will have an option to be an owner in them. But if you are not a fan of the acquisition, then it is definitely time to move on. Be cautious if it is a cash only acquisition. If the deal were to fall through, then that could cause the stock price to come crashing down. There is also selling that takes place when you are rebalancing your portfolio. For those investors that believe in sector rotation, what they will do is they will sell their overperforming stocks, those ones that have run a little bit outside of their portfolio allocation. This year, for example, may be on the tech side of things. 
They will then reallocate that capital. They'll move that money into companies that have underperformed, much like the REIT or the financial sector this year. The rebalancing can also take place from one asset class to another. If that investor thinks that the equity market, if stocks have run a little bit too hot, they could sell a portion of them, making their portfolio more conservative and moving that into a safer asset class, much like bonds or even in gold. What happens when you come across an opportunity that you think is an absolute grand slam, but you have no dry powder, you have no cash, ready to deploy into this new opportunity, which brings us to our last reason why you would be a seller of stocks. And this is because you need to liquidate your portfolio. You need to get that cash in order to take advantage of this new investing opportunity. Of all the reasons provided to sell a stock, it is important to note that it is not based independently on the share price. It is important to take the emotion out of the intraday price movements in a stock. If the investment thesis, why you bought it remains the same, then you should be patient during downturns in the position. Be sure you're selling for the right reasons. Those are some of the reasons that I've looked to get rid of positions in my portfolio and some of the tricks that I've used to take that emotion out of things. If there's similar tactics that you use or maybe a different strategy, let me know in the comments. I definitely love learning, but that is it for this week's video. So I appreciate your support. Again, if you got some value out of this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps my channel out. And if you haven't already and you've made it this far, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. I hope you guys had a great day in the markets. Happy trading.